New fallout now on Obamacare. Months after the deadline to sign up, thousands of Americans who thought they had health insurance apparently still do not. The Wall Street Journal reporting that many Americans who paid their premiums are facing a coverage gap thanks to backlogs and ongoing technical problems with the enrollment site. Carl Rove, Senior Advisor, Deputy Chief of Staff to President Bush. He's also a Fox News contributor. How are you, sir, from Austin, Texas? You got a, you got a few things going on down there in Texas, don't you now? Here's the headline. Backlogs, technical glitches, stall the insurance policies. You saw the article. What do you make of it, Carl? Well, look, there's a problem with the back end of the computer systems used for these state exchanges that means that people sign up for policies and because the systems are not in place to transmit that information in a timely fashion to, to insurance companies and verify it, that these people have a gap between the time that they think they've signed up and the time that actually the insurance company gets all the information from the state government. There's also a similar problem, though not as severe on the federal level, but we're literally talking about hundreds of thousands of people who have signed up, and because the computer systems at the states and federal levels don't, uh, don't work properly, uh, they have a gap between the time they okay, sign up there, and the time they're actually There's not a lot covered. of coverage, frankly, given to this, but you're, you're making the case that this is the tip of the iceberg. The tip of the yeah, iceberg it is the to tip what, of the iceberg. Carl? Well, well, look, let, let's, let's go through a, a litany of some of the problems. There's a problem in how people's subsidies are calculated. Uh, some people are eligible to get assistance from the government in paying their premiums. And, but the, the, the federal government has problems with calculating the subsidies properly because it's not all computerized, so it all gets done electronically. There's a huge, I think it's a billion dollar contract to verify the information individually. And as a result, people are signing up thinking they're getting a certain level of subsidy, and yet at the end of the day, when the process ends weeks later or months later, they may find out that they either get more subsidy or less subsidy than they thought. Same with premiums. The, the way that we calculate, the way that the system calculates premiums is turning out to, first of all, the promise that they were going to be lower is turning out not to be true. They're dramatically higher, particularly for younger workers. If you were young, your premium is significantly larger than, than you would have had in the, uh, before the Affordable Care Act. People are also finding out network problems. They get involved, they get their policy, they mm -hmm. get their coverage, they think they can go to a particular doctor, a particular hospital, and then they find out that the networks are much smaller and less robust than they were before let, let, let me if just, they had coverage. Yeah, let me just stop you. Health care is a huge deal, okay? And we were having problems in the past. You know, increases were going up every year. But the fact that you vote on it as a Democrat, you pass it and you sign it into law, whether it's a coverage issue whether it's a cost issue, now you've, brought, you've bought that thing. You own that. Right. And, well, and, and Ed Rollins was making, there's one more point, Ed Rollins was on our program yesterday, and he was saying it does, it, all the problems that you see with health care can be placed now on an administration that pushed through this health care plan, and that's where you suffer in the midterms come November. Now, how do you see that analyzed today? I think Ed is absolutely right. I'd go one step further. Remember, the president made a series of pledges like if you like your plan, you can keep it. You know, if you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. Premiums are going to go down, $2,500 a family. Most of the Democrats, particularly the Senate Democrats who voted for this, echoed the president's comments. So you have the president on film, you have them on film making these promises that are simply not true. The revenue, for example, uh, th th this program is going to cost more than it anticipated because the people signing up are sicker than the government thought and are going to use more health care. And then the president unilaterally took a whole series of the revenue sources for this, like the employer mandate, and delayed them for political reasons so the program has less revenue and more costs. So if you're a Democrat, you're going to get stuck with being responsible for all these things, particularly if you yeah. went out there and echoed the promises right. the president well, said. One more point here. Back to the Wall Street Journal article now. The administration claims 8 million people have signed up for the exchanges. It's a pretty healthy number. Not, not right? true. Well, I mean, that, that, that's what I say. Let me just not read true. the line. Not true. Not Hang true. on one second. It says, yeah. There are no hard numbers on how many consumers have experienced coverage issues. Out of 8 million enrollees, the number appears to be a tiny fraction. I don't know. Is it a tiny number or is it not, Carl? Well, look, they cite two states that are uh, approaching 20,000 people. So, I mean, it, look, we're talking about hundreds of thousands of people. But you put your finger on an interesting point. First of all, 8 million people signed up for Obamacare, but you're not enrolled until you pay your first month's premium. And we don't know exactly how many people have failed to pay their first month's premium or second month's premium. The estimate from the industry is that it may be approaching 10 percent, some estimates as high as 15 percent. So it's not 8 million people, it's 7.2. 
addition to that, okay. the federal government is now saying it will give no more estimates on how many people actually signed up and answer the kind of question that you raised, which is how many people are actually not covered at this point who paid. The government is not going to give us those numbers. Okay. Listen, um, we'll continue next time, okay? Um, you bet. Because there's a lot more to go through. Got to run. Thank you. Carl Rove down there in Austin, Texas. Martha.